Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Android News Byte. I know Nintendo is still going after Switch emulators, but today I want to highlight one of the remaining options for Android. It's called Sudachi, and I'll be sure to include a link to this page in the video description below. The latest update to this emulator brings it up to version 1.0.11, and it comes with a number of useful changes. You can see the latest version of Sudachi has removed telemetry. It has removed links to a now malicious domain, and it fixes a bug where some games refuse to launch from QLaunch. The update changes the main on-screen button colors, and it has also added the beginnings of the Echoes of Wisdom audio fix, which is a re-implementation of the code from Ryojinx audio changes. The Linux and Windows versions received a few more changes, and you can download all of these from the website as well. And again, I'll be sure to include this link in the pinned comment so that it's easy for everyone to find. For those who may not be familiar, Sudachi is a cross-platform Switch emulator, so it's available on Android, Linux, and Windows. The project started as a Switch emulator for iOS that was built from Yuzu, but since Nintendo started aggressively going after emulators, they've branched out to multiple platforms. It's currently being spearheaded by Jared Norwell, a software developer from Western Australia who specializes in reverse engineering. They claim to have removed all of the iffy bits, which they hope will keep it in the clear from being targeted by Nintendo. So let's hope their work is able to continue. Let me know if you've had a chance to try out this emulator on Android, as I've only had a chance to test out a few games so far. And please, remember to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Android news content like this.